the advanced compressors. The stereo and mono advanced compressors are actually powerful dynamics processors capable of upward or downward expansion as well as upward or downward compression. Expansion is the opposite of compression, so it increases the dynamic range of the audio rather than reducing it. This can be used to add life and depth to programmed parts which often have a limited dynamic range to start with, or to help parts fit better in a busy mix, or to control the resonant ring of a drum sound. When first loaded up, they will initialize with a simple downward compression setting. Already we see some differences between this compressor and the basic version. Adjusting the threshold also changes the ratio, for example, while dragging the endpoint below the threshold will create negative ratios for extreme compression effects. The time constants can be adjusted by dragging up and down over the attack and release parameters, while makeup gain can be applied with the fader in the output section to the right. Underneath the gain fader is an auto makeup option. This attempts to automatically set the makeup gain to compensate for the current compression settings. Switching this option on will not change the actual makeup gain value, so there will be no sudden change in output level. Instead, the display changes to show your current setting as an offset from the automatically calculated value. Now, any changes you make to your compression transfer curve will also change the makeup gain, and you can see by how much it has changed by turning auto makeup off. The display will now show the actual value again rather than the offset. As a general rule, it is good practice to set the makeup gain such that bypassing the compressor doesn't cause large volume changes. Otherwise, it is difficult to judge your setting. So far we have created downward compression transfers with a hard knee. For more complex transfers, right click somewhere on the line between the threshold and the endpoint. An extra node will appear with the number 1, which can be freely dragged anywhere on the graph. And you can add up to 4 of these. The soft knee presets from the factory presets list demonstrate how these can be used to provide a gradual increase in ratio which often sounds more transparent than a simple hard knee transfer. Alternatively, the vintage presets have non-linear transfers with soft knees and regions where there is little or no compression applied. If you wish to simplify a transfer curve, you can disable nodes by right-clicking them. Alternatively, you can select a node either by left-clicking it or via the Node Edit Select box and you can then enable or disable it and edit its X and Y coordinates. The ratio displayed applies just to that node, so if you select node 2, you can view the ratio of the region between nodes 1 and 2. If a region rises at an angle sharper than 45 degrees, that region will be expanded rather than compressed. The punch-up presets, for example, apply simple hard knee upward expansion with a very fast attack time and are good for adding life to programmed drum parts. Selecting the end point shows a ratio slightly over 2 to 1, which indicates that the very loudest input signals will be compressed rather than expanded. However, as the entire transfer curve is above the 45 degree x equals y line, there is no gain reduction applied. Rather, there is an increase in gain for signals above the threshold, so we refer to the region between the threshold and the first node as upward expansion, and the region between the first node and the end point as upward compression. In this case, any gain compensation will need to be negative. Setting a very low threshold will allow low-level signals to be expanded upwards while the rest of the dynamic range is compressed upwards. This can sometimes be a more transparent setting than conventional downwards compression on sources such as acoustic guitar, and it has the added benefit that background noise levels will not be increased during quiet sections, 
as there is no need for any makeup gain. If we lower the end point, we can combine both types of compression. Now we have upward compression between node 1 and the 45 degree line, and then downward compression up to the end point. With both types of compression, it is important to set the time constants carefully. But when using upward compression, bear in mind that it is now the release time that shapes the attack of your sound, and the attack time that shapes the decay. The soft clip function can be turned on or off with the switch under the time constant, and this will clip the peaks of your signal in a similar way to an overdriven analog device when the level exceeds the threshold you set with the knob. This introduces distortion, but it may not be audible if it only affects short transients. The LED will light to indicate whenever the signal is clipped in this way. The soft clipping comes after the makeup gain, so you can drive it harder by turning the fader up and vice versa. The preset menu at the top contains various options to load and save presets. User presets will then appear in the user presets list. The preset menu also allows you to copy your current settings. If you then switch to memory B, you can paste these settings, make adjustments, and then compare the tweaked setting with the original by switching between the two memories. Alternatively, you can load up totally different presets for each. The side chain versions of the compressors are identical, except they have an extra audio input which feeds the side chain of the processor. They don't do much without these inputs connected, so you will normally need to use them inside racks. The rack filters chapter shows how to set up the routing so that the side chain is fed from a different track to the main audio input. For example, to duck the level of the bass on each kick drum hit. Another common technique, however, is to feed the side chain a filtered or EQ'd version of the same signal that is being processed. Boosting or cutting specific frequencies in the side chain will make the compressor respond more or less to those frequencies than others, while high-pass filtering the side chain can reduce pumping effects caused by loud bass signals. 